Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, I wanted to go over quite a few items, um, but I've just, you know, with the ladder running, and I just didn't have a lot of time, but I had a little bit of time today. So, we're going to be going over Scalder's Ire. I don't know why I haven't done this armor yet. Um, I should have done this armor a long time ago. It's a pretty popular one, but uh, I haven't really been going by popularity. I've been going by request, and uh, somebody requested Scalder's Ire, and I'm like, oh, why haven't I done that one? Well, Scalder's Ire is a rather interesting piece of armor uh, that has some very nice stats, and we're going to go over them together, and we're going to talk about uh, what this armor is good for, uh, how you can find some pretty awesome versions of it, and, uh, and we'll go over it together. So uh, right off the bat, you'll notice that it has some pretty decent defense at 732. Um, it does vary from 634 to 732, and this is because the uh, enhanced defense varies. Uh, it does have a, a strength requirement of 97, which is not very high, and a level requirement of only level 42, which is actually pretty darn sweet. It does give plus one to all skills, and that is static. Uh, the defense does vary from 160 to 200%, uh, which is uh, not bad at all, especially considering you can upgrade this armor. We'll explore that later. Uh, we also have magic damage reduced by 10, uh, which is a pretty sweet statistic, which will help keep you alive. It's basically going to reduce all incoming damage that is magical by 10 flat points. So if you get hit by it for 100, it's going to be 90. If you get hit for 1,000, it's going to be, you know, 1,000 minus 10, uh, which is, you know, it's not going to be a whole lot off of 1,000, but if you get hit for 10, guess what? It just obliterates the 10 completely, and you get hit for 0. So, not bad at all. Uh, we also have a magic find, which varies by 1.25 per character level. So it's uh, at level 1, it's level, it's obviously 1%, and at level 99, it's 123%. Pretty sweet. Uh, we also have a repairs durability one in five seconds that is on this item always. Uh, this means that you can find it in the ethereal version, and when you find an ethereal version, you can still use it because it will repair itself. Now, the ethereal version has 1,098 defense. It has 87 strength requirement, which is 10 less than the non-ethereal version. It also has 42, level 42 requirement, just like the original. And, uh, and quite honestly, it's exactly the same in every way, except for the fact that it's nice and cool and ethereal and has extra defense. Now, of course, you can socket a Scalder's Ire, but it does not come socketed, but you can socket it with the Larzic Quest. Now, when you socket it with the Larzic Quest, um, you can put something in it. Um, so you could put an Ist Rune or a uh, Perfect Topaz for more magic find. You could also technically put a Lem Rune in there for some extra gold find, if that's what, you, what your preference is. Um, or you could put maybe a Shale Rune in it for some extra faster hit recovery. Um, there are a lot of different options, of course, that you can do uh, for this particular piece of armor. And I think most people tend to go with the Topaz uh, just simply because it's cheap and it's 24%. The Ist Rune is going to be 25% which is only 1% more, and I feel like it's just not worth the Istrun unless you happen to have an ethereal one. If you got an ethereal one, you might want to spring for the, uh, for the, the, the nicer, nicer Istrun just because. Uh, honestly, the, the ethereal one is, uh, is a pretty sweet piece of kit. Now, this particular armor can be upgraded, and this is really cool. Uh, so not only does it provide you with a really nice amount of magic find, but you can also upgrade it to its higher version and get even more out of it. Uh, so let's put the Lem Rune, the Co Rune, and the Perfect Diamond in here, and let's explore what the upgrade looks like. So we go from 732 defense, 97 strength, and level 42 to 1,539 defense, very, very nice. Uh, 165 strength, not so nice. That is a little bit higher than the uh, Monarch Shield, which is 156. So you're going to have to put a little bit more points in if you want to use it. And the level requirement doesn't go up that high. It only goes up to 64, which is not bad. Now, the Ethereal version upgrades even better because, of course, it has the 50% enhanced defense uh, on the base which means that our defense is going to look really sweet with this particular piece of armor you just watch. So we're going to go from 1,098 defense, 87 strength requirement, level 42, to 2,313. Ooh, that is so sexy. Uh, 1, 155 strength, which is actually 
under the Monarch Shield, which is not bad. And, um, and that means that we now have a very, very, very good Magic Find piece of kit. Uh, because you can obviously pair this up with a, uh, with a nice Monarch Shield or maybe a Rhyme Shield and a Monarch. And, uh, and, and you can have the right strength requirement. Um, so as you can see, the Scalder's Iron Balrog skin in its ethereal form is the optimal form and actually really, really sweet to get your hands on. Uh, for any Magic Finder who really wants to do a lot of Magic Finding, this is the plate. However, it doesn't have Gold Find, so if you're a Gold Find Barbarian, there may be a better choice out there for you. Um, as far as finding this sexy, sexy piece of kit, um, let's go over to Silo's Pen and let's take a look, shall we, and we'll see where potentially you could find yourself a Scalder's Ire. Now, um, this is a Nightmare Plate, so keep in mind that Nightmare Plates are generally going to be, um, well, found in Nightmare Difficulty. So let's uh, let's take a look, shall we? So uh, right off the bat here, I'm going to pretend uh, since this is a higher end Magic Find item, uh, but we're not specifically going to say that we're a low Magic Find character. Let's choose 200% Magic Find. I feel like that's a good medium for something like this because if we are looking for a Scalder's Iron, there's a very good chance we have already um, you know, put three, two, four Topazes in an armor or three Topazes in a Griswolds or something. You know, we're, we're rocking something. So we've got some Magic Find and it's not necessarily that we don't have any, but we, we would prefer the plus one to skills along with our Magic Find, right? So um, it looks like to me, if we go by non-quest skills, because we want to make sure we're doing non-quest skills, uh, Bale in Nightmare Difficulty has a 1 in 1600, which is not bad. But of course, Bale is a little difficult to farm. Uh, Diablo is easier to farm at 1 in 1634. That's actually not bad at all. And Helendariel is uh, 1, in 17, 1 in 1700, so not bad. And uh, it, honestly, all these bosses have a halfway decent chance, but the problem with a lot of these is they're not really super easy to farm. Obviously, Mephisto is kind of hard to find unless you've got Teleport. Um, and Dariel also is a little hard to find unless you've got Teleport. Diablo is actually pretty easy to farm, in my opinion, although you do have to pop all three seals to get to him. And in Nightmare Difficulty, you could probably farm Nightmare Diablo pretty quickly and pretty effectively. Um, to see if you could get yourself a, uh, a Scalder's Ire. I feel like that's actually a pretty good choice, uh, just simply because for any character in the game um, who wants to farm and get themselves a Scalder's Ire, Diablo is definitely one of the easiest ones to get to, to find, to kill. Um, he may not be the fastest, but I feel like just about every character in the game can kill Nightmare Diablo. Um, you know, at, at some point when they when they get to a powerful enough level where they're able to handle hell with no difficulty, uh, Nightmare Diablo is not going to give them any issue. And uh, and obviously, you always know where he is. There's a you know a waypoint right there. You just walk in and you just kill him. So I think that's a pretty good choice for farming for just about any character that might want to. Let's take a look at Super Uniques too, just because. And uh, it looks like Hell Cow King is our best bet at 1 in 4,101. And it looks like it drops off really quick. I mean, we're looking at 1 in 14,000, 1 in 15,000. That's some pretty awful chances here. I mean, it can potentially drop from Doc Farron in Nightmare Difficulty with some pretty garbage uh, probabilities there. You know, I, the more I'm looking at these probabilities, one in 20,000, like, as, as, as I'm going downward, I feel like Diablo is your best bet there. Nightmare Diablo is probably your best bet, as well as Hell Cow King, uh, because everything else past this point has some pretty god-awful drop rates. I mean, you could farm these guys. I mean, I, nobody's going to say that you can't. You could totally farm Eldritch the Rectifier right there. Uh, Shank the Overseer, but with a 1 in 18,655 chance, it's probably not going to drop. Um, I also see here that Bishy Bosch and Rockin' Ishu and Treehead Woodfist and Hell Difficulty have uh, a 1 in 19,000 chance. This might actually be a halfway decent choice, to, just simply because um, these three actually have a pretty good chance to drop Harlequin Crest Shockos. Um, so you could farm these guys as a multi-purpose kind of endeavor, you know, maybe not specifically for one item, but they do have pretty good drop rates, rates for a lot of uh, items, and obviously they can drop these Scalder's Ire as well, so...
Uh, but I do feel like if you are specifically looking for this item and you're trying to target Magic Find this particular item, it does seem like Nightmare Diablo is your best choice there. Uh, you could also theoretically farm Nightmare and Dariel if you're fast enough, um, or you could do both of them. Um, I mean, they're both, I think they both take about the same amount of time, to be honest. Um, because you got to find Nightmare and Dariel, and by the time you find Nightmare and Dariel, you can probably have already killed two out of three of the seals, if not all three of the seals for Diablo, and Diablo will be spawning. You don't necessarily have to kill all the monsters in the Chaos Sanctuary either. Remember that. You only have to kill Lord Decease, Infector of Souls, and, uh, and Grand Visor of Chaos. That's it. You kill those three, and Diablo spawns, and then you save an exit. Um, I honestly think that uh, Diablo can be just as fast in, as Andariel in Nightmare Difficulty, just simply because the Nightmare Diablo is uh, is super easy to kill, and all his little, little minions are super easy to kill. You would just teleport straight to the seal, click on the seals, kill the little group, teleport to the next seal, kill the seals, and, and it should be a relatively quick endeavor. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my video, uh, even when I'm talking about the Skulder's Ire Balrog skin. I hope that if you're looking for one of these, uh, you find it, and I hope that if you found one of these, uh, that my video was at least a little bit helpful for you. Uh, Magic Find, of course, is, uh, is a very tricky topic, and if you're interested, I do have an entire video on Magic Find, um, if you'd like to go over it, but 123% Magic Find is very nice. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.